Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about how we talk about people who refuse to vaccinate their kids. I'm a huge fan of vaccination. I was vaccinated myself, and I support the idea of vaccinating kids in general. I've been hearing a lot of talk recently about people who refuse vaccination and the harm that it can cause. And I generally agree with this concern. I generally think that it is problematic that there are a lot of people out there refusing vaccination. But I don't like the negativity with which people talk about the people and families who refuse vaccination. Uh, the negativity can get pretty extreme. Uh, I think that it's gotten to the point that I describe a lot of it as hate outright. Uh, people say things like, these people are ignorant, and I've seen people just speak in outright hateful ways about people who refuse vaccination. I don't know many people who've refused vaccination, but I do know a few. And the one thing that is kind of interesting in the sample of people that I know, they're actually quite scientifically minded people. And the one common thread that I've noticed is that these people all know somebody or have someone close to them who has experienced a strong negative reaction to a vaccine. These negative reactions are pretty rare, but they do exist, and I think in older generations they were more common. So there are a lot of people out there floating around in society who may be close to people like that who've had these negative reactions. And I think that being mindful of that can help us to be more compassionate, more understanding of people who refuse vaccination. Like I know if I had seen someone close to me have a negative reaction to a vaccine, I might be pretty skeptical about vaccinating my kids. There's another thing that I think can help me to be more empathetic towards these people. And that is understanding uh, that there are some legitimate reasons for general skepticism towards uh, modern medicine in general. I've had some kind of negative experiences with doctors myself, and I've also seen people close to me who had doctors made, make choices that I feel firmly were bad choices and harmed their health. In many cases, these were unnecessary interventions, like doctors pushing drugs on these people that weren't really necessary and then that caused debilitating side effects. Uh, this has happened to at least two people very close to me. So it's something that really bothers me. And I think that being aware that there are some really serious problems with our medical system, and that a lot of people out there are likely to have experienced these sorts of problems, and being aware that these people ha may have this genuine skepticism towards modern medicine, I think being aware of these things can help us to be more compassionate when we talk to people who oppose vaccination. I ultimately think that I'd like to see more people get vaccinated, and I think that we're going to have a better result convincing people to do so if we approach those people as being reasonable, intelligent people, and if we listen to them and actually address their concerns, rather than if we just attack them and throw hate at them. I don't think that's going to be effective for anything, and I think it can cause a lot of harm. Um, so I hope I've challenged this idea of people who don't vaccinate being like ignorant uh, and sort of deserving of like this negativity directed at them. I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to add, please share. Uh, and as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe. Thank you!